What's up everybody, it's JT here with Red Eye Film Productions and today I am going to tell you the best way to get your money back from the Grey Gim Lelo X scam. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for the recent subscriber boost. We promise to keep you updated with this entire thing and upload stellar content regularly. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe for all that. First, just a quick run through for all the new viewers. We purchased a Lelo X, so did thousands of others. We found out that it was a scam and we called them out. Then they had the audacity to create something called the Grey Gim, which is basically the same ad, only a different name, uh, for a product that does not exist. They took our money, they took everyone else's money. So we recently spoke to a Shopify representative about how to get our money back and we recorded the phone call. Take a look. Now, when you purchase from one of those companies, mm -hmm. um, and like we can't monitor the orders or tell you information about that business because of our privacy um, laws. Okay. What I can tell you how to retrieve your funds is when you contact your payment provider, um, the credit card company will ask you to contact this business. Mm -hmm. The way you can contact the business is either in their social media accounts or um, what I would suggest is re clicking reply on the email confirmation that you receive for your order. And in that email to them, state that you're looking for a full refund um, on this product and that if it isn't applied within 10 business days, you will be filing a dispute. And the reason I say 10 business days is we need to give them time to be able to take action on it. Okay. Um, after 30 days of the order date, I can file an internal complaint on your behalf against this business. Okay. D just, just, to, just to reclar, just to clarify, what I do is I, I reply to that email, say I need ten, ten days. Uh, I'm giving you ten days before I file a dispute, uh, so I can receive a full refund. Thirty days after uh, the order was placed, I contact you again if they have not given us the full refund, and um, and then we go from there. Right. So after you send that email to them, I would contact your method of payment. Okay. So, for example, um, if it's a visa, you would contact Visa, and you would let Visa know that you were uh, wanting to file a dispute against this charge, and okay. you would give them the date and the, every, all the information off of your statement to file that dispute. Okay. They're going to say, have you con made attempts to reach that business, and then that's when you say, yes, I have sent them emails, and I have received no response. And then it takes about 90 days for that disputed charge to be returned to you because they have to go through a process um, of applying the charge back to the store, okay? Okay, okay. All righty. And then after that, it's just a matter of waiting for those funds to be returned. But um, to file the internal complaint, I wouldn't be able to share the results of the complaint, but I could definitely send it up on your behalf, okay? Okay, okay, absolutely. And there's no way for y'all to find out who this is, like doing this illegal thing, correct? Um, well, I personally cannot mm -hmm. because I can't access a business account without speaking with that account. But once I go through the complaint process, my escalated team will be able to access that sensitive data okay. and then take measures within Shopify. So that's the process. It's tiring, it's a lot, it's you know multiple phone calls with multiple different representatives, but I can't tell you guys how important it is to get our money back from these thieves because because they know that people don't wanna jump through all those hoops and they'll do it again. So we are currently in the middle of the process of getting our money back. And we will update you guys to tell you if we got our money back. Let us know in the comments if this works for you. Let's bankrupt this fake company and get our money back. Till next time, this is Red Eye. Signing out.